Recapping your top stories at this hour, Gambia's president, Yaya Jameh, has accused ECOWAS of declaring war. The regional bloc has threatened to send in troops unless Jameh steps down later this month after losing presidential elections. But Jameh says he's prepared to resist any aggression. Hopes are high in the Democratic Republic of Congo after opposition leaders signed a deal with President Joseph Kabila's party to hold the elections by the end of the year. Now, many are hopeful that the agreement will bring an end to a, month, a months long crisis. The deal states Kabila may remain in office until the end of the year. A transition authority will be set up in the interim, headed by veteran opposition leader Etienne Chisakedi. Around 1,100 migrants have tried to reach Europe by storming the border fence between Morocco and the Spanish enclave of Quetta. Dozens made it to the top of the six-meter-high barbed wire fence in the early hours of Sunday morning. 55 police officers were injured as the migrants used rocks and metal bars to try and break through the border gates. And ISIL has claimed responsibility for the New Year's attack on a nightclub in Istanbul. According to a statement from the group, one of its soldiers is the lone gunman who opened fire at the Rainer Club in the early hours of Sunday morning. At least 39 people were killed, while another 69 were wounded. And those are your top stories on Africa Live.